All right. So one more five day two here. Uh, first thing is our postulate, and this is the angle addition postulate. And just like we did with segment addition postulate, same thing, just angles instead of segments. So this is now taking two smaller angles, adding together two smaller angles, and it equals the whole big angle. And that's what it's looking like. And we can set up that equation every single time. We can see the basic ones with just numbers. We can see algebraic ones where you got a 3x plus 10 and a 4x plus 7 equals 85, right? Where we can set that up and then solve that equation. Just a reminder here, right? Anytime we have an equation with an equal sign, we are going to have those m's in front because that's the measure of the angle. So the equal signs. And the, and the M's for measure go together. Okay, we're always going to see those together. You're never going to have an angle equal something. Okay? The measure of the angle is equal something. It's one of those small things. Again, I'm not going to mark it down for it. It's just one of those things that we pick up as we go. So we're going to see those problems, right? We could see where they tell us the whole big thing is um, 52 degrees. This one is. 37 degrees, and they want to know what this one is, right? Tell a person how would you solve that? So, yeah, we were just subtract that, right? 52 minus 37 to get there. Okay. But now, it's 37, right? We're not saying that they're congruent there. I know they got the arc marks there, but I'm not saying they're congruent. All right, so this one gets a little bit more difficult just because there's more variables for algebra. Okay, so they get give us the picture. If we just saw this picture, would we be able to solve for x? No. Just the picture. No. What else do we need? We need the whole thing, right? We need the measure of the whole thing. So that's where the problem comes in. Because given that LKN is 1.5, so that's the whole thing is 1.45. Now we can set up that equation. Okay, add up the two smaller angles, make it equal that 145. Go ahead and solve that out. We're looking for, at the end, we're looking for LKM and MKN. That's what we're looking for. You guys can do 120 yeah. divided by six. What's 120 divided by six? Hey, maybe we do need calculator. <laughs> I thought maybe we could do this, but no, that's 20, and then you got 18 extra. What's 18 divided by six? Three. three. So you're looking at 23. Two. Well, well, that was more complicated. It was only more complicated because you guys stared at me when I asked you what 120 divided by six was. Is that you know the <laughs> okay. 120 divided by six. What's 12 divided by six? And you got a zero. It's got to be 12. Okay. <laughs> Struggle bus. All right. So we got x is 23, but they're not asking for x. They're asking us to plug it back in. Right. So what do we get for LKM? 
56, thank you. And then this one, 89. There you go. A common mistake here, common mistake is people see MKN and they go, yeah, that looks like a 90 and set it equal to 90. We can't do that, right? We can't assume that it's 90 unless they give us that little box. We have to set up the angle addition posture. Right, set up thank you. Any questions on that? So that is one type of problem that we're going to see. Uh, same idea with these two. I'm not going to have you actually solve them. I want you to tell the person next to you what equations would you set up for these two? What equation would you set up? Oh, all right. Ready to tell me what equation for number nine? For the one on the left, what equation are we coming up with? Landon? Use the hypotenuse together and then put it equal to 180. There you go. Straight angle equals 180. So add them up, set it equal to 180. Okay, what about the other one? Okay. Yeah, add them together. We know it's 90 now because we've got that box there. Set it equal to 90 and we can solve it. We're not actually going to solve it, but that's how we do it. Okay. Good deal. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right, tell the person next to you what an angle bisector is. What's an angle bisector? Into two sides. I don't know. All right, so we're an angle bisector here. An angle bisector. Oh, well, I don't even want to know why the, the like, right. things aren't like. Yeah, why they're offset? Yeah. yeah, it's a great question. The reason why it's offset is so that we don't think it's one giant arc through the whole thing, right? So that we see an arc here and an arc here, so we can tell they're talking about two separate angles. Yep, it's a great question. Yeah, so uh, somebody in their own words, not reading off the screen, in their own words, what is an angle bisector? I have a question. Okay. Um, when it's a bisector, will, there, will the two parts always be equal? If it's a bisector, they have to be equal. But what do you call it when you're not equal? It's not a bisector. It's just, okay. it's just a ray that's inside. And that's what we looked at okay. with angles, angle addition okay. right? So it's where they weren't equal. There's no special. So let's try this again. In your own words, what's the name of my son? Say it out loud. I, I, I want to. Oh, okay. right. So what I meant, I wanted one person to raise her hand. <laughs> And tell me not everything. Oh, it's a ray right. that goes in the middle of the angle and it makes it two equal congruent angles. There you go, right? It's something that cuts that angle in half exactly in half. The two are equal now, and you see that with the arc marks that we were talking about there. See those arc marks, so those two angles are going to be equal. Now, it's going to be very important, guys, that you pay attention to this versus the angle addition postulate problem that we just saw. This is great to use. Okay. Thanks. All right. People in future years will be like, why is that guy asking about that? Anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> so there's, there's a difference between this type of problem and the angle addition postulate type of problem. Okay. So this type of problem, we could see. 4x plus 10, 2x plus 20, and we can solve it without knowing that whole big angle. We said with that angle addition postulate, we couldn't solve it 
with that one that looked like this, we couldn't solve it unless we knew the whole big thing. Now we can because we know these are congruent. So because those are congruent, we can set them equal, we can solve it, yes, and ends up equal. So you just got to know the difference between when can we set these equal, when do we have to add them together, set it equal to the whole big thing. Okay? And it depends on what information they provide for you. So just be aware of that. Okay? Um, really, the, the main problems that you're going to see with this um, are going to be pretty straightforward. Like, what's PQR going to be? PQR, 48, right? Pay attention to which, which angle they're talking about, right? What about SQR? So, so pay attention, again, pay attention to which angle they're asking for so we can get the right answer. So that, that right there is the biggest difference uh, or, or the biggest takeaway today is just knowing the difference between what type of problem we have. Do we have straight up angle addition postulate where we got to add them together equal to the whole thing? Or do we have angle bisector where the two sides are equal? Okay, that's the difference. Okay, that's the difference. Make sure we know the difference. Any questions about that difference? Those two types of problems. Okay, we're going to do a construction here. So we need compass and protractor. Go ahead and get that out. All right, so what we are going to do here with our construction is we are going to bisect an angle. Okay, we're going to make an angle bisector. So what I want you to do first is with your protractor, with your protractor, let's create a, let's go 50 degree angle. 50 degree angle, five zero, 50 degree angle. Talk about how to do that last week. Draw your array first. Oh, I'll Line up the protract, put the dot at 50, and then connect it. You said 50. 50. I did. I said it multiple times. Two complexes. Oh, my God. It's 50. I don't know where it's Yeah. All right, we'll call that A. All right, so we got that 50 degree angle, angle A. Now we're going to use our compass. Okay, pay attention to what I do. You're going to open it up to some length some some width here right some size it does not matter the size okay it does not matter the size you're gonna open up and you're just gonna draw an arc okay do the whole thing draw an arc through the whole thing doesn't matter the size just draw an arc through the whole thing Oh, I drew wrong one. It's a monster. Wait, Monday. We call those uh, B and C just for reference here, those intersection points. It doesn't matter. All right, so the next two things that we're going to do need the same size, okay? So it could be different size than the other one. But the size that we need, okay, the size that we need, we need it to be bigger than halfway through our angle, okay? It can't just be super tiny. It's got to be bigger than halfway. Just watch what we're going to do, okay? Watch what I do first before you try to do it. We need it more than halfway through the angle. We're going to put the point on B, and out in the middle of my angle, I'm just going to draw an arc. Okay, out in the middle of the angle. Because then I'm going to keep that same size 
put the point on C and draw that same angle or that same arc. I want those two arcs to cross. Okay, so I want those to cross out in the middle of that angle. But keep the same size arc from B, arc from C, same size. Two arcs, those two small arcs need to cross. Should we make something like this? Okay, okay, so we should have this little intersection of arcs out here, right? Look something like this. That intersection, right? Those two arcs, connect that back to your vertex. Connect that back to your vertex. That should should be your angle bisector. So each one of those two smaller angles should be about twenty five degrees. So if you measure those, they should be about twenty five. I got about twenty four and a half there. Uh, twenty five and a half. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm twenty seven. Yeah, so that's going to give us that halfway, that bisect. All right, any questions about that or about angle bisectors in general? So that.